Welcome to Capper Outdoors and the time has come we decided to sell our Kentucky farm and that's what this video is about but it's also going to be entertaining if you like country living and so forth but anyways it's a beautiful 201 acre farm in total on one side of the road here you see the aerials it's 190 acres and on the other side of the road right across from it is a beautiful house and 11 acres which is a great parcel so I'm not sure if you can actually have a 10 out of 10 when it comes to property but this is a solid 9 out of 10 this is just an amazing piece of ground I'll try to relay it to you why it's so good um, but first let's start with the house basically we did a complete rehab of the farmhouse that was there um, new windows, uh, new everything, new vapor barrier, blown in insulation, complete new HVAC system, uh, air conditioning, heat. Um, it's got internet available there at the road. It's got city water and of course it's got power. Um, I'll run through some of these pictures of the complete rehab that we did on this house. There's the original hardwood floors that we had redone. So it is a beautiful, beautiful place. So as a standalone, the house in 11 acres is just a wonderful piece of ground because there's actually very, very good hunting on that 11 acres. My neighbor uh, across the street, he's had permission to hunt it for many years now because he kind of manages the, the 190 acres for you know out of town landowners. And so he's harvested quite a few nice bucks off of the 11 acres. So that in and of itself is a great investment and then we'll look at the 190 across the road. Okay, let's take a look at the house in 11 acres here. It's uh, Here's the house down here, and it's a really nice uh, triangle shape. Um, this is all hardwoods on the right, and the top of this, it's all hardwoods, and it, it's a big ridge going all the way back to this back corner, uh, and then it comes down to the road and back over to the house. And it is fully surveyed, this 11 acres. And when you get back in that upper corner there, you're way, way back off of the road. Okay, me and Clark are up looking for the corner of the 11 acres. That's that really pretty field down there. And it's a steep uphill. We're following the fence. Yeah, it, uh... So right about in this area are th three or four barns. Uh, we did fix one up. It's a nice little red barn. And right here is a new food plot. As I mentioned, it is very good hunting. Uh, Dwight, Dwight has harvested many nice bucks off of it. So this is a ridge going uphill, if you can kind of visualize that. It's a beautiful mix of hardwood and softwood. It's exciting. I mean, really exciting. I just got a bunch of... And right here in this clearing, that's where there's a, there's new electric and new water service right there. So if we do want to build, we can tie in right there. And there's the house right there, literally right across the street from, 
from the 200 or the 190 I should say. And let's see. That's the 11 acres over there. So you got the building and you got the field there. I mean, that's a really nice 11 acre piece. Really, really nice. And there's a really beautiful uh, pine grove right in here. It's very picturesque, very park-like. It's really very nice. Okay, let's move across the street to the 190 acres. Real quick on this um, lower resolution, I'm gonna show you the boundaries. Um, this is literally like owning your own mountain here. It's not quite a mountain, but it's a beautiful, beautiful big hill. And on uh, basically two sides, on the, on the right side here, the north side, you have steep bluffs and steep hollows and a big creek. So it's a great natural boundary. Uh, and on the left side you have crop fields now which just those just came in the last couple of years which only makes this place that much better um, but this is kind of the shape of the 190 now let's take a real drone flight and i'll show you better what it looks like oh and real quick here um, it's got about 30 acres of uh, tillable which is all these fields right here and there's I think I've had as many as seven and eight food plots mixed in here. Um, and here's the deer tower locations in the blue. Um, I think we've got five. I put two up myself and there was three originally there. They're all on these food plots except for this last one is kind of deep in the woods. In a all right, so this is where we're going to start. This gravel pad right here, you have power, you have 200 amp service and uh, city water already run to this camper site which is on the 190 so uh, this trail then goes up you know this is all uphill and all these fields you're gonna see are the kind of the mountain that I mentioned earlier you know it's not as big as a mountain but it's a beautiful beautiful hill so you could see these first two plots here and the surrounding area you could see how remote it is this is all hardwoods and then some of these big fields here on the left over here you can't really see them there they are them are all turned into crop fields now and that's right around the border of this property. So there's about 30 acres of tillable here. That's, uh, there's a pole barn over here on the right side. Let me show you a couple pictures of that. All right, this is a beautiful pole barn and it's very, very remote, way off the road. It sits up on top of this big hill, beautiful views around. But the way it sits, it's got a front and a rear overhead door. It fits my tractor and bush hog combo. I can leave them connected. And then it's got a big um, cover on the left side there. I'll try to get some inside picks. But I almost, almost went ahead and converted this into a cabin. Um, but I, I didn't. But it's an option for someone. If you run power up here or get a generator or solar, I mean, you can make a stunning home site up here on this hill. But anyways, uh, you already have some storage up here for your machines and stuff up on the 190 acres. All right, continuing the drone tour here. My, my gosh, there's so many clips I'm trying to get to the wildlife. <laughs> That'll be towards the end. But anyways, um, again, there's 30 acres of all these broken up fields. If you know anything about wildlife, you know field edges are like key. So having all of these uh, five six seven or eight different fields with all this i mean miles and miles and miles of field edge and of course you could plant this whole thing in corn or beans if you wanted to but here look here this is you could see that's a natural regen area here that's flat ground that used to be a field also which you could make another plot down in there Okay, and a real quick third editing um, interruption here. There are so many places on this property that are flat ridge tops, but they're completely wooded that you can add at least another eight or 10 micro plots throughout this farm. So it lays out quite well. I mean, it lays out huge for 190. I'm gonna say it lays out literally like a 250, 260, or a 280 acre parcel. 
but you can see the terrain here you see how the the trees drop very precipitously right here that's basically the boundary on that side it's a nice steep clip cliff and a natural barrier all right so let's quick turn around now we're facing back down to the south towards the uh the house that's down across the road so here's a look at the fields again you can see the pole barn there on the left up in the top right those are now crop fields those two and our border is in just at the edge of the woods of those crop fields but this long narrow food plot and this other one right in the center right there are fantastic food plots i mean this for this is a great property as it sits we've got mature deer there already but my gosh if somebody took the time to work this property it could be absolutely insane i mean it already is with wildlife but it can be so much better i mean believe me if we could move this chunk of land across the river to illinois and put our house on it we would and if money was no object i would never ever sell it but we're at that place in our life where we're, we have to part with it so anyways yeah let's keep going on i'll show you some of the wildlife i got three years of trail cam history and more details about this hey guys capper here and welcome to our second kentucky trail cam survey I bought this kentucky land just a few months ago as our uh, investment property and a bug out anyways this is number two and you're gonna like it i am extremely surprised at uh, what you're going to see here on the trail cam because most properties when you buy them if they haven't been managed they're all shot up and it just if you bought land you know what i mean it's very seldom where you buy land where there's any mature deer at all this one is the exception so we're in good shape so let's check it out okay so this is junk man he was on our first one but we didn't get any good pictures of this guy I'm not sure if he's about a 12 pointer or what he is but his left beam is like all crooked and he's got a bunch of junk down by his uh, brow tines um, it's good to see we have some tall genetics here on this farm as you're gonna see there's gonna be two nice tall bucks one of them is absolutely stunning loads and loads of deer in this area so we picked a good area so this turned out to be a really good mineral site here so this is number one of what's going to be many um, minimum of three-year-old many of them at least four-year-old bucks which is like i said i was kind of surprised to see just how many nice deer there are on this land that are mature already here's the next one this is a tall nice tall eight with no brow tines so that's going to be key here because okay so this tall eight he's going to depart the scene here and here comes a really nice young um, looks like a 10 pointer there was another one there but now here's another nice tall one but look at the look at the junk there and the brow tines so he's, this is another a little bit bigger one than that one that just departed i'm pretty sure this one is a different one and who's here coming now in the background another one yet okay that's the middle finger guy and now look at this beauty this buck is a dandy and he's a uh, g2 so here he's with junk man area even though he looks young i mean look at this guy his body only looks like a two or a three year old but he is absolutely stunning come look at all these bucks coming now one two three there's one coming in the background four all right i have a ton more of different bucks and trail cam picks from 2019 i'm going to skim through them very quick let's touch on 2020 and then this year 2021 so here's one of the new watering holes that i put in this one's in the woods uh, the other one is kind of on a main trail and there's also um, two ponds two small ponds in in the woods here on this property as well so there's plenty of good permanent watering sources I made this scrape at like 10 a.m. and look at this beauty at 3 in the afternoon this is a stud I think this is an 8 I uh, got a lot of film of this guy in just a short period and this guy loses a lot of weight by the end of this video Let's take a look at that 10 pointer that I almost harvested. 
All right, so I passed this beautiful buck in 2019, and I got, I think, some pictures of him here in 2021, still alive, and he made it through this season, and he is a stud, but you'll see him later in the video. And here's that nice heavy eight. Look at how much weight he's lost just in the last couple of weeks. The next of these series, look at this guy. He's ready to rumble with somebody. And pretty exciting episode of Kentucky Trail Cams from last fall. But anyways, I harvested this beautiful 11 or 12 point three year old. However, comma, if I would have had the intel that I'm going to show you now from these trail cam cards, I definitely would have held out for a more mature buck. This is just from one of the locations on our Kentucky farm. Top secret, of course, probably not going to be Clark's hunting spot. Tuned for some other spots um, and new food plot cams as we get them. So I hope you. All right, so here's the intel for the 2021 season. Um, we leased it to uh, a couple guys from out of state, and these are the only pictures I got from them. But it's clear to see that several of them you might recognize from the last couple of years. They did harvest one buck, and it was uh, the gentleman's father's uh, best buck ever. Um, I think they're from Georgia. But anyways, here's the... Uh, Intel it's limited, but you can clearly see we're growing mature deer there very nicely from 2021 Okay, real quick on other wildlife particularly turkeys um, This place is an absolute sportsman's haven um, I've seen 50 to 60 at one sit while deer hunting and like all of them mature gobblers uh, Dwight the neighbor who used to own it he told me that at one point he saw 400 yes that's correct 400 turkeys on that big field one year when he had corn planted there but there is an extreme abundance of great turkey habitat um, even though it's open in the fall I never harvested one and as well as other wildlife there's bobcats and, and coyotes and coons and pretty much everything you can imagine but this is truly a special property
right, I'm not going to show this whole ride, but this is a huge benefit for whoever does buy this farm. Uh, this is the neighbor Dwight. He actually used to own this 200 acre farm. So he's given me a lot of valuable intel on how the deer and the bucks move and so forth. And he has also helped manage it while we are away, kind of in exchange for hunting on one spot on the 11 acres. Um, so if you're a decent landowner, you guys can get along and you could have a huge benefit with Dwight there to help you continue to make this property get even better yet. Um, just food for thought for the future buyer. But uh, man, it's beautiful out here. Just a beautiful, quiet area. This is a little bit thin in here. Let's go finish this tower out and at least have a, some success. Look at that, that's beautiful. All it needs is a carpet and a chair. Hopefully I'll turn around here in a minute. Opening up another uh, 50 yards of visibility down to this end. Man, I'm up here. This is beautiful. All right, I'm up on the tower. I got, I think, four decent lanes cut. All right here, you got one. And a lot of it I hinge cut, so there's still going to be some cover on the ground. That leads down to my that top secret ninja tower. if you've seen the video on that strategy well, this is a far far superior setup man check this out and that's a scrape tree right there i moved that so we already got bucks in this field thermals are going to go down as the hill goes down the thermals picturesque little mini field it is so beautiful back here there's that tower i was talking about it's a beautiful field out here and this corner is a good corner because it's got a fantastic natural licking branch get you all set up we're uh, we're ready to plant in a few weeks and we should have some intel for velvet season